On the fateful evening of April 14, 1865, Abraham Lincoln was engrossed in a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Positioned on the balcony level, the president's box afforded a clear view of the stage. However, in an unfortunate turn of events, John Wilkes Booth, a Confederate sympathizer, clandestinely entered the theater's backstage. With calculated stealth, Booth advanced toward the presidential box. Regrettably, John Parker, Lincoln's bodyguard, had been granted leave due to a perceived absence of threats, leaving a critical gap in security. Exploiting this vulnerability, Booth approached Lincoln from behind and discharged a single shot into the back of the president's head, severing his spinal cord. The sudden blast of the gunshot jolted the audience, instigating confusion and panic. In a swift and daring maneuver, Booth vaulted from the president's box onto the stage, vociferating the words, thus always to tyrants, and vanish into the enveloping night.